Welcome to LSX Engines Tuning and Marine. In this video, I'm uh, taking apart a 3 liter Merc Cruiser four cylinder engine. This is the preliminary um, video or prior to tearing it down just to show where things go and uh, so I uh, know what to do when I put it back together. So, I've already taken off the water pump and the uh, front pulling accessories, and that was mainly so I'd have clearance to when I pulled the engine, I moved it forward and lifted it out of the engine bay. And I needed the extra clearance that uh, taking that water pump and pulling and stuff out of there gave me. So other than that, and also before I could put an engine on the engine sand, the back bell housing has to come off, followed by the uh, the coupler, and then followed by the flywheel to get it on. Well, you actually don't have to take the flywheel off, but I, I do just to make it uh, easier. One other tip I can give you is the, the rear main oil seal right here. Go ahead and take out the four bolts, even though you don't take it off just yet. Take off the four bolts before you put on the engine stand so you can uh, so it'll come off a lot easier. That's a tip for speeding things up. So again, I'm going to go around this engine showing uh, how it's all put together. So when I put it back together, I'll know where things go. Uh, a lot of these engines are they're all approximately the same, but there are some differences. So there's your uh, transmission. Uh, kill switch there like they call it shift kill or shift shift I don't know what to call it but anyway it kills the uh, ignition shortly so you can shift it out of gear uh, ignition coil here that's your uh, your coil plug wire going back to your distributor um, there's your starter your harness got a relay there connector going back to your harness in your boat This harness here is a capped off device. This is probably a fuse. Continue on. I had to pull the riser off to get it to clear out of the boat. And then, uh, let's see. This has a, what am I, it's not, what's it? It's an automatic drain system, but you have these two lines. This, this line here goes up here and comes out of the block. So it drains the block. There's no valve here. It's open to this hose. This hose stays with full of water all the time. And uh, this other hose is what drains your uh, your uh, exhaust manifold coming off right down here. I'll do a little bit better uh, video of that later. But what these do is these come up and they attach right there and right there. And you see the rubber seal. So when they're attached, they seal the water. And when you want to drain this engine or winterize it, you just push these buttons in right here and it frees up the connection there. And then you just drop the two hoses and it drains your, drains your engine into the, uh, into the uh, bilge of the boat. So that's a interesting way of draining these boats, uh, the four, four, four cylinder boats. Um, those two connectors there went to your reservoir, uh, your oil reservoir. Still haven't taken any of the harness off the back of the alternator. All I've done is take the belt off. Um, by the way, there's no pulley. There's no, for those who've not done this for, there's no bolt that holds this harmonic balancer on the front pulley. It's just pressed on and you gotta pull it. You pull it off with a, a puller, but to get it on, I'm gonna make a special tool that spans, it's gonna be steel, half inch steel. It spans from this bolt across to that bolt. It looks to me like if you back up, they're just in line with each other. So I'm gonna make a tool to help uh, you know, with a bolt that presses, that pushes this thing back on using this, uh, this, this bolt here and that bolt there. Because otherwise you're not getting it back on or you'd have to hammer it on. I don't think that's a very good thing to do. So again, um, this is the first video, first walk around inspection. Make sure I've covered everything. There's your carburetor up here. Come back around this way. Connections down through there. There's a, a hose that there's a hose leading down through there. Let me see where it goes. It goes right behind the thermostat housing. It runs down to the top of your fuel pump. It's got a mechanical fuel pump on it, pump it to a carburetor. So it's an old school motor. Not too difficult, it's gonna be pretty easy to take down. So if there's anything else, uh, it needs to be more clarification, I'll take a separate video for that. 
So this is a teardown of a Mercruiser 3.0. Thanks for watching.